Now that we've studied radian measure, we can use it then to determine arc length. We know that the radian measure is the length of the arc forming the angle divided by the length of the radius. Or in other words, the measure of the angle in radians is how many radii are curved along the arc. So if the length of the arc is two times the radius, we'd have a ratio of two to one. And the radian measure would be two. There's two radians for an angle. So this is the arc length divided by the radius. Or in other words, we have theta in radians is equal to the arc length divided by the radius. We can rearrange that formula to get a is equal to r theta. So in other words, you know, if we, the theta is the measure of the angle in radians, this a can be the length of the arc around the angle, and we can find that by multiplying the radius r times the angle in radians. So we can use this formula then to solve for any one of these three values as long as we have the other two. So let's look at class example number seven. A pendulum 30 centimeters long swings through an arc of 45 centimeters. Through what angle does the pendulum swing answer in degrees and in radians to the nearest tenth? So let's take a look at this pendulum. We'll say it's there, there's the tip of the pendulum, and it has a radius that, or the pendulum itself is 30 centimeters long. So you can see that that swings as a radius. So that's the center where you're holding it, and then it swings back and forth this way. So if we swing it through an arc where the arc is 45 centimeters, let's take a look here. 45 centimeters is 1.5 times 30 centimeters. So we can say that this arc is 1.5 times the length of a radius. But perhaps we, we don't know that. We're going to try and find this angle here. Right about there. We want to know what that theta is in radians. Well, the formula tells us that A is equal to R theta. Or in other words, we can say that theta is equal to the arc length divided by the radius. Well, the arc length is 45 centimeters. The radius is 30 centimeters, and therefore we can say then that the measure of the angle in radians is equal to 45 divided by 30, which is 1.5 radians. Now let's find that length in, or so that measurement in degrees. So we have 1.5 in radians compared to pi radians, and that's the same thing as having this x value proportional to 180 degrees. In that case, then, we can solve for x. It's x is equal to 180 degrees over pi times 1.5. And when we plug that in, we will get 85.9 degrees. So we can either say in radians it's a measurement of 1.5 radians or 85.9 degrees. Let's take a look at it. example 8. Calculate the arc length to the nearest tenth of a meter of a sector of a circle with diameter 9.2 meters if the sector angle is 150 degrees. So let's take a look at drawing this. If it has a diameter of 9.2, then we can say that the radius part, half of it, is half of 9.2. So 9.2 divided by 2 is 4.6. And then it swings through to 150 degrees, so right about there. So we have an angle of 150 degrees, and we're trying to find, we have the radius, we're trying to find the A, or the arc length. Well, according to our formula, A is equal to R theta. But we have to remember that this theta is measured in radians. So we're going to have to convert 150 degrees into radians. So let's do some proportional reasoning here. 150 degrees compared to 180 should be some unknown value in radians proportional to pi. So in that case, then x is equal to pi over 180 degrees times 150. 
and we find out that that is about 2.61799. Now, a lot of decimals here, but we're going to keep them until we are finished the, the problem. So the arc length here, A, is equal to the radius, which in this case is 4.6, and times the angle in radians, so 2.61799. We keep that from the memory in our calculator, and we find out when we round to the nearest tenth, it's going to be 12.0 meters. Let's now take a look at class example number nine. We have this circle, and there is a, a triangle inside here. We have a minor arc, which is the smaller arc here, which is 15.2. And then we have this triangle where angle BAC, so this angle right here, angle BAC, this angle measured in radians is pi over 6. Well, let's take a look at this triangle a little more carefully. And we can see that if this is the center, then this side is a radius of the circle from the center to the edge. This is also a radius. Now when we see that two sides of a triangle are the same length, because this is a radius and that is a radius, then it's an isosceles triangle, which tells us that this side, or this angle, the measure of this angle, is also the same as the measure of that base angle by a theorem for isosceles triangles. Well, then we can use that knowledge then. We know that the sum of angles is equal to 180 degrees. But since this is measured in radians, we can also think that the three angles in a triangle will sum to pi radian, pi radians as angle measurements. The sum of the angles will be equal to pi. So let's do some of that work. We have pi over 6 from one base angle, pi over 6 from the other base angle, and then that equals 2 pi over 6, or in other words, it equals 1 pi over 3. Since those two angles together pi over 3 plus this central angle, we'll call it x, has to equal, be equal to pi, then x is going to be equal to pi minus pi over 3. So we can conclude that x is equal to 2 pi over 3. All right, with that in mind, we have the now this angle here. It's the angle of the, it's the angle of the triangle but it's also the angle of this sector. Okay, using the formula then, a is equal to a is equal to r theta. We're now looking for the r value. So we could say dividing both sides by theta, we'd have a over theta is equal to r. With that in mind then, we can continue and say, that r is equal to the arc length, which we see is 15.2. 15.2 divided by the angle in radians, so that's 2 pi over 3. Let's simplify this a little bit because when we divide by a fraction, we can multiply by the reciprocal. So 15.2 times the reciprocal of 2 pi over 3, which is 3 over 2 pi. So we have 15.2 times 3 all over 2 pi. When we simplify that and use that in our calculator, we would get 7.26 about, which is approximately 7.3, and the units are centimeters. So now you're ready to tackle your assignment, and I will see you in class.